Up as Sound of Freedom dominates the box office, we'll spotlight another veteran. Greg Sawyer, join us now. Gentlemen, both, thank you so much uh, for what you do, for what your organization does. First of all, uh, Forrest, let me start with you as the executive director. How much has Sound of Freedom helped you in your mission to raise awareness about the, the scope of this problem? It's done a lot of great things for us. For five years, Craig has been pushing the message of what's going on with children and it has launched us into a conversation that's been very difficult to have. And Craig, what brought you as, 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 a, as a vet to say, hey, I'm gonna start this organization for another chapter of service. Why'd you start it? Yeah, man, I started it because a friend of mine in the CIA let me know that child trafficking inside the United States had grown to industrial scale. And it was really <laughs> out of a broken heart. I'm just a father and busted up veteran, but I had to do something. So I, I decided to make a documentary, expose the problem, and generate a cultural change just to protect the little ones. And Craig, how do you do this? How, because you guys have had uh, serious success. Veterans for Child Rescue have 26 arrests across the U.S. with a 100% conviction rate. How, how do you put it together? How do you work with law enforcement? Yeah, well, we start with a district attorney who will prosecute, because sadly some won't now uh, for specific reasons, and we backtrack from there and the DA will choose whichever sheriff's department, police departments, federal and local law enforcement uh, he or she is most comfortable with and will plan the operation from there with a multi-agency task force and then run the joint operation and and uh, bring the predators in. And Forrest, what do you say to people who are still critical, not just of the film, but of the idea that child sex trafficking is a real problem in the United States? I think people need to start listening and looking around. They can go to our website and they can learn how to better understand what they are missing. It's a $150 billion industry worldwide, so there's plenty of evidence around you if you know what to look for. And in the United States, what should we look for, Forrest? I mean, what, what do these operations look like? How do they thrive? Well, basically, you should look for uh, folks that are have kids with them that don't look like they belong, children that won't make eye contact with you, that won't have conversations with you, uh, that and the adult will interfere with any kind of interaction that you'll have with them. And Craig, uh, for our viewers out there, if they want to support your mission, your organization, how can they? Uh, give them the information. Yeah, man, they can find us at vetsforchildrescue.org or more shortly, v4cr.org. We've got a wealth of information on there, links, tools, and the link to our documentary, Contraland, so that they can learn more and get involved. So you can check out the documentary about what you do and then get involved in the organization. Uh, also, if there are vets out there that want to support it, I mean, is it the kind of thing where people can, can get involved actually directly as well? It is, yeah. We, we use uh, veterans for different things in our operations, and so we're looking for more ways to use them, quite frankly, and I celebrate that development. But, um, yeah, we do have a team of veterans that we use for our ops. Got it. The documentary is called Contra Land, and the website is vetsforchildrescue.org. Forrest and Craig, God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it.